there's a way to make an entrance. <laughs> My destiny. It was now a conspiracy of witches. Download Veely today. Viewer discretion is advised. Turn it on. Get on the ground. is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Uh, when I spoke to my mom about wanting to be a cop, I was actually very young, and she had told me then, well, I had to stay out of trouble and work hard in order to get there. And when I finally decided I was going to do it, she supported me 100% and said it was awesome and I had full family support as I went through the academy. So right now it's a trespass. Mail showed up to a house he's working on, it appears, and there was a vehicle parked in the garage. When he arrived, the vehicle took off, and now he's been chasing after him. LT, it's that car you're coming up on, that white car. You got him, LT? Yeah. Step out of the vehicle. Keep your hands where I can see him. Put him in the air. Turn and face me. Pull your shirt with your right hand from the back. Pull it. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Keep turning. Keep turning. Stop. Take your hands, interlace them on the back of your head. I want you to walk backwards towards my partner. Walk Step back. back. Walk Step back. back. Walk Step back. back. Drop down on your knees. You got him under, Sheriff? Yeah. Are we good? You're the one that called us? Okay. How'd you wind up with finding this guy at the place? I pull up to my job site. This guy's park, parked inside the garage. OK. Everybody parks inside a garage, right? Yeah, absolutely. That's weird. And I walk up to him. He's in the pasture seat. I said, uh, what are you doing on my job site? Uh, he said, oh, a buddy of mine just dropped me off here. I said, that doesn't make no sense to me. He just took my phone, took his picture, took his license plate picture. He said, I don't see no trespassing signs, whatever. So I'm going to get the car. I'm going to get my car. It's my car. So this is my car. Obviously, now it's his car. Now his buddy dropping him off. He gets in the car, picks out the driveway, takes off. So I started following him. OK. This is Flam Flam. I was just buying a little time, getting by or whatever. I'm from Pillar to Post. I've kind of had uh, my life threatened in the city of Los Angeles. So I'm a, a federal cadaver dog. Uh, I have a lot of people that are after me. If you uh, look in there, I just recently uh, got that vehicle back, and I have federal property in that car. And the way this gentleman was following me, I believe that he has some kind of tracking device so you're, on me. So you're a federal did, cadaver dog? Correct, Through, meaning that I work with the federal government on investigations. So are you That's claiming right. to be a law enforcement agency now? No, I'm claiming in a way to be an informant for the federal government. So what I'm pretty much saying is I have federal property in my vehicle, and my vehicle is federal property, and this guy is bogus. Yeah, I didn't do anything wrong. Well, yeah, you did do something wrong. I'm gonna ask what? You were at somebody in somebody else's house. No, I was inside not. Inside the garage. Your vehicle in that car was inside the garage. So the photographs he has are, are made up on Photoshop on his phone on the way here. Okay, so what was the photograph of? You and the car. I am a, so a law-abiding citizen. I work with the federal government. I don't care who you work that with. That guy, well, I'm saying I didn't do anything illegal. I have an allegation that you committed a crime. I am obligated to conduct an investigation. I have 60 minutes to do so. So until then, so you are detained. So why did that guy leave? You're detained. Did anything? You are detained until I can determine otherwise. I have 60 minutes. You're going to go in the back of an air-conditioned patrol car while I conduct my investigation. OK, but what's the investigation? I'm the victim. You have an ID in the car? I sure do. Where's that? Uh, my briefcase, I believe, right there on my uh, passenger side. I don't know. Who, who's in charge on the scene? Yeah, we just started here. Wait, you know what I'm saying? What's your first name? Jelani. Is that the temporary, or what one do we have? But it's not a legitimate plate. That's nothing but a laminated piece of paper with a number on it. He said I could check the center console in his briefcase for his ID so I can confirm he is who he says he is. OK, well. 
There we go. There's a commercial license right there. Another ID right here. Got multiple IDs I just found here. <laughs> it's just got interesting. I'm the victim of identity theft. I just recovered the vehicle. I have a Class A valid license. My car is legit. I didn't do anything wrong, sir. Well, the only problem with your car is you run around no license plates on it. Problem is, is you have a piece of laminated paper with a number on it. But okay. I have valid registration. Yes, but it's still against the law to not have a valid license plate on your vehicle. So just sit tight. It should only be about a couple minutes, and we'll have an answer what we're doing with you, OK? All right. Check the trunk. Negative. We couldn't get it open. No, look on top of the trunk. I just found multiple IDs and credit cards, not his. Well, and he says he's the victim of identity theft. Yes. Where was all those at? In his wallet, in that little plastic wallet right there in the briefcase when I was looking for the ID. Holy. He's the, and he tells me he's the victim of identity yes. theft. Yes. And where'd you find it? In this plastic thing that was in the briefcase. Looking Where for you his said ID. we could go look for yep. the paperwork and stuff? Yep. So he can go for possession of IDs of another. It's a guarantee these people aren't consenting to him having their identification. Two, three, four, five, six, seven counts of it. Hey, look, I'm gonna take you to jail, all right, for the, for the possessions of the IDs? No, that, that can't happen. You're I under arrest. It, it is happening. So. I, I can't. I mean, I have a clean record. Now. You're I'm under, well, showing okay, well, yes. you're under arrest. Sir. You can I, present I, that what, in a court. Okay, so what am I gonna be charged with? Uh, what, what is the charge? You're in possession of other people's identification, and you are also in possession of credit cards that do not belong to you, okay, which is so a crime in Nevada. I okay, I just recovered my vehicle. I have an FTC report. I was robbed and okay. almost had my life taken. Okay. My, I just recovered my vehicle, and I have released paperwork of that that okay. exonerates me of any of that. Okay, well, you'll be so you'll have your you, opportunity. Why would you introduce me like I'm not that? I am a victim as well. Okay. All of those people's property that I have possession of, okay. the person who stole my car left that in my car when I picked it up from the impound yard. You're yeah. going to have an opportunity to plead your case in front of a judge. No, no, sir, uh, put your foot me. inside the car no, door. You get hostile, but I'm going I, to close I'm the door. Limited. Move your it's foot now. He's saying he has permission to be in possession of these things. That's for him to argue in court. After a long, hard day of work, I go home, get to see my wife, and then we start working on a couple of charities that we started a few years back. We collect gifts for children, underprivileged children, throughout the year. Christmas time, we hand out gifts to about 700 kids every year, and then uh, also work with injured animals throughout the nation. Heading to back up Sergeant Green on a traffic stop. This car was driving erratically in front of him, so he did a traffic stop on him and go figure out what's going on. How you doing? I know you. Hi. Hey, step out for me. Just drop your stuff. What are you shaking for? I wasn't going to jail. I didn't say you're going to jail. I'm just detaining you right now. All right, step back here. Your license good or no? How many times suspended? Once. Just once? Whose car is this? Uh, her roommate's. Crystal meth in his pocket. Any more in the car? No? That's it. Have Is there any way we can work this out? I can talk to you. Is it a habit or are you selling it? No, it's just a habit. All right. How much a day? Just about that. Just about that? That'll do you the whole day? All right. Is anybody else in the car going to be holding any? No? All right. Sit back. I'll come back and talk to you in a minute. She's been shoving stuff. Yeah, so we'll, we'll, we can at least detain her. Yeah. Anything on your person? No. That you shouldn't have? No. No? No bra. Okay. Well, it's not illegal to have one of those. So you have no idea. I'm being detained? Yes. Yeah. You know the driver? Yeah, I know who he is. Yeah. What's his name? Uh, Brian. OK. Well, he doesn't have an active uh, driver's license right now. OK. Sit so back here for a second. Just check this up down there. All right, so you smoke? I used to, a week That's ago, yeah, yeah. yeah, a week ago, yeah. So a week ago, you would smoke, yeah, smoke yeah. what? Meth. 
Okay, so if there's anything illegal in there, I want you to be up front with me right now okay. to tell me if there's something within arm's reach or where you're sitting there's, that is illegal. There's something in, in the seat that's illegal. It's not mine. That's like fine. Said, be up front with me. Mine. Okay. I, I think it's just some kind of allergy pills or something. Okay. I don't know. That's fine. The green pills are going to pop out. That's like fine. I said, uh, that's all I know about. Okay. Swing your feet in there. Hey, Chase. When she got out, she had things dropping off her. Okay, well, you'll see a little seat. key in the. Uh, okay. The door jam. It looks like it may go that safe. Okay. Hey, Jim, we can detain him. Go back to your bed. Stay right there. Put them together like a crane. You got anything active? No. Any warrants or anything like that? No. So we'll, the problem we're running into now is inside the car is a safe. Go back from What I'm trying to figure out is whose safe it is. It's her safe. That's why it's sitting next to her. She brought it into the car? Yes, sir. Well, you're being detained right now because there's narcotics inside the car. Oh, uh, uh, So to distance yourself from whatever's going to be within arm's reach of you, you need to tell me now before I find it. No, I don't. I like, I, there shouldn't be nothing in there. You know? OK. Good enough. Good question. All right. So now I'm going to work on getting this safe Grinder, some weed, another scale. From everything in here, it looks like Narcan. Like they're probably using and selling. Some Kratom, the old Whitehorn edition. Some weed. Looks like Coke, needles. Anything on that side? Well, Jay, I think by that water bottle. Yeah. Um, where the belt buckle is. Yeah. I'm thinking that's where she was like shoving stuff. stuff that, yeah. She said there's only pills and they're oxycotton. Apparently, that's what she was trying to hide, and and matches the same kind of pills that she had crushed up on her lap that she dropped as she got out of the car. Um, so right, the, the green board. pills yeah, are oxycotton. They were the same color yeah, and everything, the pills eight, that fell out of her eight, lap. Uh, Someone's got a little piece of it. Yeah, that's uh, what she was talking about was, you know, I saw that falling off her uh, lap. There's another yeah. piece. I'm going to have to uh, pull him out. Okay. Brian, step out for me. All right, so listen, we found other stuff inside the car. There's pills behind you. There's grinders, Narcan, needles, stuff like that. Is any of that stuff yours? Just what was on you? OK. No reason that safe's going to have your fingerprints on it? No. On the inside or outside? No. OK. You're going to have a seat in there. All right, Caitlin, right? OK, so you had the crushed up pills in your lap that matched the pills in the front pocket. Also, the key that you had on you yeah. fits that safe. OK, inside that safe is cutting agent, yeah. needles, I don't... marijuana. OK. I smell There's... weed. OK. Just let me slow down. We're going to talk through all this. I'm telling you what's found, what you're what, going to be charged with, OK? So possession of prescription without a prescription, basically a controlled substance without prescription. Um, possession of paraphernalia, which are the needles, OK? The scales, the baggies, um, the THC gummies, the marijuana, all those are inside that safe that you controlled with that key. So essentially, everything in that safe is yours, everything in your lap, and everything in that pocket in front of you is yours. So right now, we have probably about eight or nine felony possession charges. And the driver will be going to jail for the possession of methamphetamine and the driving on the suspended. All right. Um, I grew up here, went to school here, playing football here. And this sun heat is ridiculous playing sports. It definitely takes its toll. You know, I got into law enforcement and realized how much worse it was wearing all this equipment in the heat, fighting bad guys. Right now, we're en route to a domestic. It's unknown if it's physical at this time. Uh, female called on 911 and refused to answer any questions and is screaming at somebody in the background. We've got a unit on scene already. Units not to go to the bus, take the RP call back in case, but it was just a verbal argument. What's going on? What's up? Good, how are you? 
You and who? My, my ex. Who's your ex? Uh, Jessica. Jessica? OK. Where's Jessica at? She's inside. Do you mind if we come in? Um, I mean, I'm trying to get her out. Her out. OK. Yeah. All right, does she live here? Um, she's been staying here, yeah. OK. All right, Ben, go talk to my partner for me, all right? All right. Jessica, what's going on? Oh, she left? Who? Oh, Who? Stay right here for me. The girl that was here. Who? Oh, no, she's right there. That's yeah, she's still here. What's up? What's going on today? Um, I'm here because somebody called 911. I did not call 911. I called the non-emergency Somebody was screaming. I was, we were arguing. OK. Um, I called the non-emergency number because he, I need to go to rehab, OK? OK. That's the deal. Um, well, last time I saw you, you were going to rehab. I know it. It's every time. But I'm actually, uh, I'm going to detox. I'm going tonight. Uh, OK. But I haven't, um, I don't know why he's got to pick today, the day that I'm like hot and detoxing and not feeling good. He brings this girl over here, and she comes into my room telling me I need to leave. She's supposed to be one of my friends, and I just, I don't understand why she's coming here trying to push me out and touching my things and stuff, you know, like, like get out of our okay. business. Do you, you know live here? I mean? Yeah, I've lived here for over a year. Here? Okay. So I don't understand, so that's why I called you guys, because he can't tell, they can't just kick me out like that. I was out walking around and evicted. he, like, Gotta right, evicted, but okay. that's what I, the point I was trying to prove, but my my boss gets off at 9 o'clock tonight, and he's driving me there. So Where are you going? I'm Vegas? going to Vegas to go to detox. Okay. Yeah, I got the, the bed set up and everything. I'm, I'm going. You got your ID? Uh, not on me. Okay. Was it, no, you're good. I'll just have him run you through local. Okay, that's right. Um, was anything physical today? No, not no. at all. You guys but, are just yelling, screaming at yeah. each other? I mean, okay. and and that's the deal. They're going to tell you that I'm a heroin addict. Yes, I'm a heroin addict. What do you mean? Oh, I, mean, I know. We've, we've, gotta, how many times have we seen each other now? You know? It's an ongoing issue. You got to get clean, you know? know? You got kids. Get clean for them, all right? I'm going to get clean for me, so, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that too. So it's just a verbal argument today. Yes. Nobody hit each other or nothing no, like that? absolutely not. Okay. All right. Hang out tight, okay? I'm going to go talk to Ben. I'll be right back. Okay. What's going on today, man? Nothing. Nothing? Okay. Um, you know she wants to leave? Uh, she does? Yeah. yeah. She wants to, but the problem is, is her ride won't be here till 9 o'clock tonight. She keeps telling me Can you me guys that. keep that cordial until 9? I'll probably just stay gone. Okay. Try to. That's fine. I've been staying gone, but. Okay. Yeah. Well, we just don't want it to continue to fight, because yeah, granted, arguing is isn't illegal in the state of Nevada, but, it but arguing leads to exactly. somebody's going to hit somebody, because right. somebody's temper is going to go way overboard. Right, yeah. I mean, we've all seen it. Come on. I mean, how many times have I talked to you guys, right? Yeah. So somebody's going to get hit. We're going to be back out here. Somebody's going to have to go to jail. Yeah. You know, we don't, we don't want that, I know. you know? Especially, like, I haven't seen you guys in a few months, you know? I haven't seen you in a minute yeah. since I was working night shifts, so. Trying to, you, know, saying, you guys got to stay straight, you know? Let her go to rehab, OK? I'm, that's what I'm pushing for. I'm trying to tell her. I'm like, I don't want nothing to do with her. Oh, she's, see she's clean, you know what I'm saying? She's telling me right now she's going. She's like, I got five years. She, so she's been telling me that for months, you know? Okay. And I'm just like, I'm to the point where I'm like, what, what else can I do, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Like, I just, and, and I, I find I find stuff, you know what I'm saying, in my house. And, and I'm like, like, come on, man. Like, you can't respect me, you know? And then it's, it's my fault. Well, if it gets to the point where she's not going and you just can't do it anymore, you know, you know how to file for an eviction, right? Yeah, Up to the prompt justice to court do and do it, dude. I can't afford that. Maybe it's the only legal right way now. she can leave. She's saying she lives here. Yeah, she's been staying here. So, well, she says she's leaving. So, I'm gonna go talk to her. Tell her we're all finished up, okay? All right, all right. All right, thanks, man. She's. I mean. You understand, like, we're both adults. We should be able to sit down and have an adult conversation. He should be able to talk to me and tell me, hey, this is what it is. All right, Jessica. So I, went, I talked to Ben, okay? okay? He's saying the same thing. Nobody got physical, nothing like that, okay? Right. Um, I told him how to get rid of you if he really wants you gone, okay? It's an eviction notice through the prompt justice court. Granted, whoever she is, she's saying you don't live here. That's beyond me, okay? You and Ben both say you live here. Right. You need to get an eviction because notice, I'm okay? Okay, so you're going to be gone at 9? Okay. He's going to take off because he doesn't want to keep arguing, okay? Right. Do what you got to do. Finish up what you got to do. See the people you got to see and get out of here. This ain't the life anymore, Jessica. It's oh, time to get clean, you know? Okay? Lay off the heroin. It's not good for you either. I know. <laughs> you've, been yeah. telling me, you've been telling me for seven months you're going to get clean. You're going to get clean. So... Oh, no, it's time. It's time. Yeah. It's time, okay? Did you say anything about wanting to hang yourself no. yesterday? Nothing like that? No. All right, well, we wish the best of luck to you. Thank you. I hope Hopefully everything works out, all right? Um, on better circumstances. I, I hope so.
I hope so, and I hope you're clean. Thank you. All right, we'll I see you. I will be. <laughs> I told her I'd give her a shot, you know, if she was clean, you know, but I, I wasn't going to until she was clean. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. I mean, I, it's, well, that's where I'm at. Yep. You've been clean for a minute, so, I know. Yeah. you know, she needs to get off of it, too. Give her as much space as you can to get her out of here, you know? That's right. I spent a lot of my life uh, in martial arts, you know, got into the whole MMA thing, and I ended up going to the academy and doing the job, and I really love this job. And my martial arts background gives me a little bit of an edge with dealing with people. It gives my mind centered, my body centered. So I'll enjoy it. Put me in front of unit three. Your scouts is yelling at him. We got a uh, call stating that a naked su male subject in a cowboy hat is attempting to break into his house. Hi. Where's this guy at? with his sister Right here, next door. Next door? Yeah. If he ain't in there, he ran away. He was sitting on my porch buck naked. All right. Hi, where's your brother at? The, what's his name? Christopher. Hey, Christopher, man, what you doing, dude? Who are you? I'm a police officer. Why don't you stand up for me, okay? Okay. All right. Face that wall for me, okay? Stand up. Go ahead. Go ahead. Stand uh, up. I'm just gonna show what I do. All right. No, you're gonna have you stand up, okay? Come on, let's go. Stand up. Okay, All right. Or lay down. Get down. Okay. Okay. Get that to Place your hands. Place your hand about him back. Okay. Thank you, dude. All right. You're bigger than me, man. I know I am. Okay, hands together for me. Okay, lay on your belly. Okay. Are you been? Are you on any drugs today, buddy? No, just peace and love and happiness. Just peace, love and happiness. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Can I stand up now. Be honest. Just let me finish this, okay? Okay. I, I normally ask you if you have any weapons at this point, but I don't think you do. Okay. Where would I be hiding? I know, right? Don't touch me there, man. I'm not touching you anymore. Okay. Just, can, you, can you? All right. Just relax. Okay. okay. Peace, love, and happiness. Right. Control VC-70, code four, one in custody. Go ahead and roll AMR for me, please. All right, man. We're gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cover your dignity, all right? Can you sit up for me? Yeah, sure, man. All right. You know, it's just been a long... Yeah, right here. A long, strange trip, man. I, I get that. Fit that happy birthday hat. Is it your birthday? I don't know. What day is it? Can you put me in the couch? So just, going, just lean back. I don't know where he's on. Is he diagnosed with anything? No. This is a person. Okay. Yeah, is he I known to take any drugs sure, at all? No. No? No. Not that you know of, at least? I know of. OK. Come on, just close to everything. He's only really doing because. Where's he visiting from? Let's get real. California. California? So Came here from California? Crash on the golf OK. <laughs> These are some pants here, OK? You got to put some pants on. Really? Yeah. Let's sit you on this uh, couch, OK? Ready? What did I throw away? No, sit on the couch so we can put pants on in the hat, OK? OK. All okay. right, sound good? Yeah. All right. Oh, 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 oh. You're bigger than me, man. Don't do it. Just, I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm not gonna hurt you. Hey, pants, pants, remember? Pants, pants are good. You like pants? Come on, I made the last shot. All right. I can't believe it. You wanna help me set? What are you doing to me? So we can, uh. Oh my God, can you pop this? He's, no, he's, don't touch it. Awesome, stop, dude. We're just putting the pants on so I can put your hat on, remember? Right. Stand up a bit. Right. Now I'm really starting to hurt. There we go. Now we got pants on. Have a seat. Have okay. a seat. Okay. okay. Is this the right procedure? Yep, totally. You want to take a dip in the pool? What's up? <coughs> uh, take a dip in the pool. No, man, I can't swim. Do you like women or men? I prefer women. Uh, yeah. How about you? How do you work that? He's looking at a cool guy with a hat on. That's what he's looking at. OK, Chris, Chris. He looks like a turtle. He does, but what? did you take anything today? Of course. No, oh, I'm tired, tired, man. OK, that's fine. Just don't want you to fall. Got to go through hardships in life. Absolutely. To get all this bull, OK? Yeah, that's true. Absolutely, okay. man. Uh, who's the baddest mother here? Chuck Norris. You don't look like Chuck Norris. I'm not Chuck Norris, but I know who he is. He's probably the baddest there is, right? I don't know. Who the f is Chuck Norris? Come on, you know who Chuck Norris is. Walker, Texas Ranger. Walker, Texas Ranger. Come on, man. American icon. Yeah, he's a national treasure. He's never seen him like this. Okay, okay, I love you. I love you. Let me take these off, God damn it! Hey, I can't take them off yet, okay? I okay, told you. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, I feel like Gumby. All I want to do... You tell me, man. Just everybody chill. Hey, come, come on, let's all part. No, no. Hey, God damn it, I said take your hands off me. Quit Did spitting I... at me. 
Okay. That's rude. Okay. How rude. Okay, I'm sorry. How rude of you. Okay, I'll paint everything and, and do everything. Yeah, I promise. It's just, it's very tired. Bring it up. Are they here? Yeah. Cool. What a long, strange trip it's been. Let's get him up. All right, you do. All right, Chris. Can I have a kiss? Yeah, but you got to do some up. things first, okay? So stand up. Oh! What's over there? Is that Jesus? No, that's not Jesus, man. Those are flowers. I Come don't on. I want to go that way. Chris, you told me you'd be cool, right? Right on. Let's be cool. You got right to sit your butt down right here. All the way up top. He's highs and he's lows. I don't have no idea what he took. He's banging on windows, took all his clothes off, his butt naked. He in the area? He's, he, he's here visiting from California, is what his sister said. Oh, okay. Been staying with his sister. Scared the hell out of these people. Yeah, you know? sister says she's Who the f is that guy? She says she's never seen him like this before. So I don't know what he got into. You guys are right now illegal? Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, guys. Hey, Gus, can I talk to you real quick, man? Mm. Is this the first time you've ever seen this dude acting like this at all, or something like that? He's been here for like two or three months, but I never paid him attention. I was always leaving my house, going somewhere. Right. I would see him sometime. Yeah. And then all of a sudden today, he's on my porch, buck naked, ringing my bell, and he was trying to get in my house, but then the metal door was locked. Yeah. He would have he came in my house. Oh, yeah. He know. probably thought he was trying to get in his own house, and the door was locked, to be honest with you. Like, like he's, he's right next door, right? Right. And then, I mean, I'm no expert. They, they okay. kind of look similar. It's, it's possible. Does that make I'm sense? Saying, yeah. You know, he's pounding on the door. He's like, hey, let me in. Exactly. You guys ain't going to hold him forever. I already know that. Yeah, that's true. They're going to probably release him next week, and then he's going to come right back here again. Well, I hope it doesn't come to oh, that, man, all right? Oh, oh. Well, Gus, to that's not stuck in tube, sir. All, all right. right. So originally I'm from Hawaii, born and raised there. Started racing motocross at the age of five. Moved to Vegas to expand. I couldn't juggle my school and racing, so at age 13 we stopped, went to different avenues and stuff like that. But I do miss the adrenaline rush. So with this career, I have that daily rush that I always look for when I'm on a dirt bike. So we had a vehicle that just passed us. It didn't have any front plates. The vehicle just cut off another vehicle right by the stop sign and blew the stop sign. Looks like it's trying to take off from us. We're gonna try to catch up, initiate a stop. Hey, you guys, there's like a silver four-door Audi is trying to take off from us. Eastbound and Karen they might be coming towards you. BM with dreads. BM with dreads. Right. Right here. Uh. Control 8, John 11, can I get a rolling once on a vehicle that tried to ditch officers? It's now parked. Look, his, his sandal is there. It's custom plate, Nevada. We're going to be in front of uh, building number four. There's a bunch of weed in there. Yeah. yeah. This place is suspended. It's suspended? That's what she said. Oh, OK. Copy word code four. There's some marijuana jars. And he took off. Possible sales. Hey, so Walden might have a possible right here outside the complex. So we'll go check it out, see if we can uh, right, visually good. identify him. Oh, going to be him or no? There's no shoes. No shoes, dude. There's no shoes. There's no shoes. <laughs> All right. So we have this individual that possibly might be related to that car that yep. fled from us. He has no shoes on, and we found some flip-flops right near the vehicle, so it's possible he ran out of them. And he has a chin strap hair that matched. We can see if that's a female. It might be her car. We got him. Yep. What did I do? We'll figure Why it out. These, are these camera? ladies over here related to you? Yes, sir. That's my that's my uh, my, oh, my grandmother right there. What's that? That's, 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 that's my grandmother, my auntie right there, grandmother with the love shirt on. Right, I'm going to go talk to her real quick. I didn't do nothing. Just face forward. Keep your feet straight. Yeah, I saw him walking down the street. He had no shoes on. I was like, it does it look right? There, yeah. 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 What did the no on? Yeah. I didn't have no shoes huh? on. I was just walking with him. Thanks. I was going to meet him from, from face the forward, man. Cab. I swear. You have ID on you? No, I don't. No, I don't. No. Okay. I don't. That's what I'm saying. So I don't have nothing. Right, what's your first name? Anthony. A-N-T-H-O-N-Y, sir. He left his sandals. There you What have you been arrested for? Traffic ticket, sir. What else? That's Someone it. look up your mugshot. So I know, I know. Tra go traffic ticket, That's sir. It. Just, sir. Okay. Hey, sir. Anthony. That's stop it. moving away from my car, right, Anthony? I'm sorry. I'm just, stay I'm still. Just, Anthony. Everything you gave my partner is true, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, if we can't find you, you're going to jail. No, you're going to find me, sir. All right. I'm just trying to identify. If I can't identify, we'll go down to jail. Where's your shoes at, man? Uh, I'm going to go swimming. Where? Is it kind of hot? 
Is it kind of hot? The ground. You uh, keep moving around. I just, it's just, I get nervous, sir. I don't know. Nervous or is it hot? Nervous. Do you own blue sandals? No, sir. You didn't have well, sandals I got on? Blue sandals, but I don't. Blue slides that you left over there? Uh, no, sir. No. Okay, so we didn't make eye contact right here on Marion. It wasn't me, sir. Anthony, we can go two ways. You can be honest, or we'll just throw everything that we got at you. And we'll tow the car, so whoever's car you car drive in, is gone. they're gonna be out about two, three hundred dollars. Sir, no one walks in the middle of summer barefoot. Yes, right? they do, sir. I know what you're trying to say, but yes, they don't. No one goes for a walk down the street and it's barefoot in the summertime. Not in Las Vegas. I can go grab the flippers. I can let you put them on. We can play a Cinderella game all day. I, I'm going to go to the pool. These are swimming shorts I have on. It no, looks no, like no, bas basketball. No, no, you can check them. There's no pockets on them or nothing. These are swimming shorts. Okay, so we can't, These I, are can't swimming identify shorts, an sir. owner for that vehicle. These are swimming shorts. Okay, and there's drugs that are in view that children get a hold of. Okay, there, the car's not secured. The windows are down. We're going to tow the car, I, and an individual that's let you borrow the car is now going to have to pay three, four hundred dollars just to get it out. So you're willing to play this game to put that person out that much money, and then you're going to be the one to blame when they ask what happened. So you can either be honest with us, we get the ball rolling, and we can let them know they can come pick up the car. I'm giving you a chance right now. You put in other people, you're dragging other people in this when he doesn't need to. So it's tell us what's going on. Why would you do that? Just because you have a traffic warrant? Man, I'm trying to do right, man. I'm, I'm trying to take care of it, man. It's why wouldn't you just stop then? We could have just let you go if it's just no, traffic. No, 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 I know you're not. It's going to take you because I always go. Nobody lets me go on warrant. I have to, man, I don't. What kind of warrant is it, Anthony? It's just, it's just traffic, sir. That's it? That's it. But well, you know how much lives you can risk by running a stop sign like that, going that fast? That's why I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just. You know how much kids want... play in there? I, and I watched everything. I made sure, sir. I didn't send this, now, but that's why I parked. I didn't just. Yeah. So whose vehicle is that? It's, uh, it's, it's, your girlfriend's car? Yes, sir. You're making their lives a whole lot more difficult than it has to be. How? They, 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 I'm the one who's going to go to jail for six months. Anthony, so today you got to go on your warrants and the reckless driving. I'm going to go to jail for six months, not them. You just made it way bigger than it needs to be. Do you jump over the wall on the wash side or just the uh, complex side? I, just, I didn't even jump over, so I just ran around into the middle of the complex. You outran your sandals. It kind of sucks today that you got to go to jail, but at least now it's time to take care of your warrants. You're not going to be looking over your shoulder all the time, right? No, but I will. I'll just, I just, man, I just got my time. I was just trying to get my check so I can make the payment. That was it. Like, that was it. I wasn't trying to run from them because I agreed to the payments. Like, I was willing to do okay. this. No, I, I get it. But unfortunately, so today you got to go on your warrants, man, and the reckless driving. Hopefully, the next time we see each other, it's not going to be like this. All right? Good luck, man. On my free time, I like to hang out with my wife and kids. Uh, being in Nevada, we have an opportunity to get a lot of the outdoors. We have a lot of fishing, hunting, uh, off-roading, quadding in the area. So any chance we get, we like to get out and have fun as a family when we're not working. So right now, we're getting dispatched to a start off as a 911 cell disconnect. But it looks like the RP is back online, and she's whispering, saying that there's possibly a domestic situation going on. So we're going to go back up to this officer on this call. Sounds like the victim has ran down the street and he's gonna be out with my partners. We're gonna go over here and talk to the male half. What's going on? She's drunk. I'm on probation. She knows it. She's dangling that. You know, I'm working. I paid $500 towards my house taxes today. She should be happy, but she wants beer. I said no to beer. She need me in my groin. I pushed her down on the kitchen floor, leaned up against her. Just put my feet on the cabinet. I said, stop, because we've done this a thousand times. And who is she to you? She's my wife, but I'm not doing it no more. Okay. I'm done. You, know, you want to come down here? Hang out down here. I'm going to go down and talk to her, OK? Uh, yeah. I'm going to go down here and get her side of the story. So far, it sounds like she might be intoxicated and having a disagreement with her husband. You got an answer? No, he's out there. Huh? What do you say? Basically, that uh, she's been drinking all day, uh, and she need him in the growing. He pushed her to the ground, and uh, did you talk to the roommates at all? I haven't talked to the roommates, no. Oh. So, all right. 
Hey, what's going on, ma'am? My name is Deputy Mendez. Yeah, let him know what's going on. I'm going to go talk to the roommates real quick down there. Yeah, come over here. Step in front of my car. All right, just hang out right here. OK, so what happened tonight? What happened tonight is he would not accept the fact that I said, go for it. I'm good, just go. He does not accept that. So what does he do? He throws his whole body weight in, and that seems to be his maneuver. Then I'm getting squished, and my two tenants don't even call 911. That's why I had to float off in the back bedroom and freaking sound like some freaking weird-ass psychopath, okay. you know? And how much have you had to drink tonight? Of course. I'm not how much have you had to drink? I'm, I'm not sure I wasn't there. Two tall pants, that would be like a six pack. Yes. OK. Yes. What else happened? I took pictures right after Good he one. hit me. And then you're going to see some swollen marks on me. You don't, I don't have to explain. I mean, do you really know? I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to understand, but you're, you're kind of like talking in, in puzzles. Did he punch you? Did he hit you? Did he yes. kick you? Yes. You didn't say any of that. I need you to explain to me exactly everything that happened. At any point in time, did you lose any uh, Of course. Any air? That's did where you... all the pressure is right there. So it's laying Along on your face. this side, yes. All right. Well, you want to start walking back down there so we can, I want to get the rest of everyone else's story. Just walk back down to the house, OK? So after speaking with her and speaking with him, it sounds like they're both knowing what to say when it comes to uh, trying to get one another in trouble. She's saying that she was hit and punched in the face, but she has no marks, no swelling. He had no marks uh, other than saying that he was needing the growing, but I think it's just two people that are having uh, a disagreement over alcohol. Can you do me a favor and go hang out and talk to Deputy Hobson for me? So we're gonna go get some statements from uh, the roommate. Hey, how's it going, bud? Not bad, how are you? But can you kind of explain to me what you saw today? I was sitting in the living room watching the news on TV. Uh-huh. Um, I don't know, Marcella was somewhere else. He was either in his bedroom or he was out here, and then she came in. They were talking, whatever. They went in the kitchen, and I got up for a minute. I was getting ready to come and check this guy out, and she kneed him in the balls. OK. And he's like, what the hell? So he kind of threw her down on the floor, and he kind of pushed up against the cabinet and pressed against her, pinning her to the cabinet so she couldn't get up until she calmed down. He kept telling her, calm down, calm down, calm down, go lay down, da 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 After about two or three minutes, he let her up. She went in the bedroom. OK. While he had her pinned, was she screaming anything? I mean, no. was it? No. Did it just like total silence. Total silence. Okay. When you could hear some muffled noise, like I don't know if he had his hand on her face or what happened, but she was like very, very quiet. All right. There she is. So she's gonna ultimately get arrested for uh, the domestic battery. With that. So did you knee him? Did I knee him? Yes. Did you take your knee and strike? Yeah. Him? After he was trying to pull me down. After trying to pull you down? Yeah. Okay. Well, you failed to mention that uh, to me down yonder. Did she okay. tell you about it? No. No. You didn't mention that to either one of us. No, and that's not so the okay. we're talking to Brian, and Brian said that he saw the whole thing happen. Like you said, okay. he was there. And Brian is saying that he watched you knee of him. Of course. And of course. that's when he put you on the ground it's and right. pinned you to the ground. It's all right. Is there any reason that Brian would lie to us? Yes. Why would Brian lie to us? Does it matter? It does, well, it does I'm matter. I'm asking you, is there a reason that Brian would lie to us? No? Okay, yes. then. Is this where it is? Turn around. You got it. Well, where it is, it's, I've got witnesses, statements claiming that you're the one who initiated this position of contact and that started this whole issue. Okay. All right. Deputy, can I talk to you one second before you leave? Absolutely. You have to understand, no, two years ago, we found our son after he shot himself in the head. She just needs some right. help. Absolutely. And we got some uh, programs that will uh, explain her down in the jail. and. Hope we can get her back on track and get her back uh, focused on on making tomorrow better. That would be fantastic. Stay safe. Okay. You have a better night. Okay. Uh, you too. 132 in Bush. I've got him at gunpoint. Okay. Gunpoint. 132 in Bush. Covers code three. Thanks, Ted. Get a 2514. Can't transmit on tech. 10847. 10847.